page 100, problem number 29. Write the standard form of the quadratic function that has the indicated vertex and whose graph passes through the given point. And it gives us the vertex, negative 2, comma 5, and the point, 0, comma 9. Well, first of all, let's just start with our standard form of a quadratic function, or standard form of a parabola. y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. Now, h and k stand for the coordinates of the vertex right here. So we can plug negative 2 and 5 in place of h and k. So let's do that to start. So I'm going to write y equals a times x minus negative 2, which I can write as x plus 2, quantity squared, plus k, which is equal to 5. Now, the only thing I don't know is a. Once we know a, we can plug this in, and we're done. We've got our standard form. Now, just like when we're trying to find the slope-intercept form of a line, sometimes we know the slope, but we don't know the y-intercept. Well, we plug in a point that's on the line to find the y-intercept. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to plug in our point, 0, 9, in place of x and y. That's going to help us find a. So let's do that. So instead of writing y equals, I'm going to write 9 equals. I don't know a, so I'll write a times. Instead of writing x plus 2, I'm going to write 0 plus 2. Quantity squared plus 5. Now once I do that, the only variable left is a, so I should be able to solve for a. So let's just simplify what we have. 9 equals 0 plus 2 is 2. Square that, we get 4. So I have a times 4 plus 5. Now, oftentimes people will make the mistake they'll add the 4 and the 5 together. Careful, we're solving for a. We have to get rid of the 5 first, and then get rid of the 4. So first, let's subtract 5 from both sides. If I do that, I get 4 equals a times 4. If I divide both sides by 4 now, I get a is equal to 1. Now, once I know that, let's take that value, let's put it back into this equation right here. And that'll give us our standard form y equals 1 times x plus 2 quantity squared plus 5. Is that 1 necessary? No, it's not. I'll keep it on there um, just as part of my answer. Now, I want to verify this answer, so I'm going to pull out my graphing calculator. And let's press our y equals key and just graph this. So if I graph y equals, I can type in, I don't really need the 1, so parentheses, x plus 2, close the parentheses, quantity squared, plus 5. And let's take a look at a graph of that. Okay, now what does that tell us? Well, let's just take a look at our vertex. Our vertex, negative 2, comma, 5, it fits. Our point, 0, comma, 9, 0, comma, 9, that fits too. So since both those values fit our graph, we are confident that the answer we got right here is the correct answer.